Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Lauren, and today I am sharing what I eat in a day on my healthy plus size pregnancy. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, I lost 80 pounds using the WW program before getting pregnant with baby number two. I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant, expecting a baby girl in May, and the goal of my pregnancy has just been to focus on a healthy, balanced way of eating and living. So I'm not currently tracking any WW points or calories. I'm eating when I'm hungry, trying to watch my portions and balance healthy, good foods and foods that my body's craving. It's actually Sunday today when I'm filming this. So my family is home. Josh is home. If you guys saw my last video, he has been working around the clock and going out of town a lot lately. So it's really nice that he's here and off all day today. The weather has been absolutely gorgeous this weekend. Here in Georgia, it is gonna be sunny and almost 80 degrees today, which blows my mind for early March. So I'm gonna get going on my family's breakfast this morning. I think we might be heading out to the zoo to enjoy the weather and get some active walking in. So for breakfast this morning, last night I actually put together cannoli French toast. This looks so good and I haven't even baked it yet. So I made this last night. It has been sitting in the fridge overnight because it's one of those recipes where you have like bread and a filling. You pour a custard egg topping over it. You let it sit in the fridge overnight. So our brioche bread has really soaked up that egg mixture. And now this morning, all I have to do is pop it in the oven for about 30, 35 minutes. And we'll have a fun and delicious Sunday family breakfast. So I'm gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. While I pop this in the oven, here's a look back at how I made this cannoli French toast for a fun and special weekend breakfast for my family. About to leave, already packed. The full recipe will be linked in the description box below. This recipe for the cannoli French toast bake is from fooddolls.com. I did make up the entire recipe, but because I only used a 9x9 pan instead of a 9x13, I ended up only using about half the custard mixture and half of the cannoli filling mixture. So essentially, I halved this recipe and was able to make a 9x9 pan instead of a 9x13 pan. We still got six good servings out of the 9x9, and it was so delicious. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. I am actually going to recap my calories that I intook today, just because I was curious to see where my intuitive eating was landing in regards to a calorie range. Again, I'm not tracking them every single day, but it was just a good check-in to see where my intuition was leading me in regards to calorie intake now that I'm in my third trimester of pregnancy. for the first 
Chef Lila, it's good. It's good. It's almost ready. Yeah. She's been keeping an eye on it for us, guys. This smells so good. Okay, well, we had our breakfast, we got ready for the day, and now we are heading out to the zoo. But first, Starbucks stop. I got a grande ice brown sugar oatmeal shaken espresso. I love these. They came out last year. I haven't had one in a while and they only come in around five points on the WW plan. You can lower the points if you do almond milk instead of oat milk, but that was one that I used to get all the time last spring. Joshua got his fancy sweet coffee from my sweet man and Lila is already into her first snack of the day. Oh, is it gone already? Yeah. <laughs> Rip goldfish. Why don't you the baby one? I think the baby one's inside. It was so fun heading to Zoo Atlanta today. We had not been back since last summer. It was a great way to enjoy being outside in the beautiful weather as a family. We walked a bunch of the trails, saw the animals, and I got about three miles of walking in. I've been sharing over on my Instagram page how I'm doing a mile a day March challenge because doing as little as walking a mile a day and just making that habit to be active every day is a great stepping stone to keep myself strong through the end of my pregnancy. Lunch of champions. Did you get some Dippin' Dots? Yeah. Cool. Daddy and I both got pretzels. And you can't go to the zoo without a zoo beer. <laughs> Hey guys, we're finally home. We sat in Atlanta traffic for a while getting back, so it's a little bit later than I thought it was going to be today. I got some sun at the zoo, a little pink, but we're actually also sitting outside by the fire, so some of it is I'm just warm because it's warm out. Josh went ahead and put a fire in our fire pit outside because it's been such a nice day. We are just like not ready to even be back inside. So we're doing a fire pit outside. So it is getting later though. And because we have the fire already going, we decided on a fun family, simple dinner of hot dogs on the fire. This is one of Lila's favorite things to do as the weather gets warmer because she loves being outside, going camping, having fire pits in the backyard. She is 100% Josh's daughter. I love those things too, but they are definitely my outdoor people. So I kind of just put out a little spread here for everyone to like build their own plate. Josh and Lila are roasting the hot dogs and bring them in as they are done. I have buns, I have bread, we have some chips and onion dip from Trader Joe's. I have raw carrots with hummus and ranch because we need a vegetable today. Um, just some sauces for the hot dogs and then some fresh green grapes because again, I felt like we needed to amp up our fresh fruit and veggie game for today after our sweet dessert breakfast and our pretzel lunch at the zoo. And of course we gotta eat outside. It's so beautiful today. 
Got our fire going. Good day, family. It's a good day. It is a while later. We cleaned up the fire and dinner from outside. I cleaned up myself. I don't know about you guys, but I love sitting by fire pits or having a fire either inside the house or outside. But once I'm done with it, I'm done with it. And I can't stand like my hair and my clothes smelling like fire pits. So I took a shower, got ready for bed and as has been the habit the last couple weeks in pregnancy, my newest craving has been cereal at night. So I'm having some Honey Nut Cheerios and a banana with some milk. So like I mentioned, I haven't been counting WW points or calories like the last month or so, pretty much since I got sick at the beginning of January. But I am kind of curious to see where I would be sitting calorie wise. The baby has definitely been growing rapidly. It's the third trimester. I think on average what I've seen research wise is you need around an extra three to 500 calories a day to support baby's growth. Again, it varies by person, so that's not necessarily every woman needs to eat that much for healthy baby growth. But since I've been eating intuitively, just kind of following my hunger cues while trying to be mindful of getting in healthy foods and balance and good portion sizes, I'm curious to see where I ended up. My total calorie intake for the day ended up being 2,162 calories. When I was in weight loss mode, my goal was about 1,800 calories a day. For me personally, to be at a maintenance zone, I should be eating closer to 2,500 calories a day right now. So I'm kind of falling in between a weight loss and maintenance zone. So I'm trying not to focus too much on numbers and just kind of go with how I'm feeling. And as long as the baby is gaining weight and I'm maintaining or gaining a healthy amount of weight, I feel good to go. I will say one of the biggest differences in pregnancy and looking at my food is I'm a lot less consistent. So when I'm tracking my calories or WW points, I have a goal that I look to hit every day versus when I'm just kind of intuitively eating, I notice a big variation in my day-to-day -day eating. Some days I feel like I'm eating kind of how I was before getting pregnant. A lot of the same healthy meals and snacks I got used to eating on WW, I still like and crave. But then there are other days that my hunger is way up and I'm just kind of playing it by ear the rest of the pregnancy. So anyway, that's what I ate today while 32 weeks pregnant. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. And until next time, bye. bye.